Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm going to be talking about the state of Fortnite in this brand new chapter 4 season 1. I do want to start off by just kind of throwing it out there. Have you guys noticed this season is a lot more sweaty? It seems like there's a lot more players and it seems like there's a lot more... Let's just go with tryhards. Which, you know, I'm not one of those hater boys out there just saying, you know, like, oh man, this game's so sweaty now, oh, it's not fun. It still is super fun. Today's video, we're going to be talking about Fortnite and whether it's become a lot sweatier more recently with the launch of Chapter 4 and just how I feel about the loot pools, the players, um, just overall Fortnite. And I am strictly speaking from public games experience, I'm not actually a comp player because I just don't have the time to grind the game like I used to. But um, I have noticed the pub games getting a lot sweatier. And there's a couple things I figured out on why I believe that pubs are getting sweaty. So what you're looking at here is activeplayer.io forward slash Fortnite. They kind of keep track of the database of like millions of accounts in Fortnite. And in the past month alone, it's gone up 2 million uh, players in total. So basically there's a lot more competition in the game. You can see the the huge blow up late 2020 due to the lock-in pretty much because of COVID, but you can see how they went up tons of players here. 11%, 6%, 2.5%. All these numbers increase the overall player count. Um, you see the active monthly players almost reaching 300 million where nowadays there's still 250 million. So it's not like any of the general stock and hype of Fortnite has gone away. People still love the game and are playing the game pretty much more than ever. Like from what I can tell here, the game's more popular than it was three years ago in 2019. You can see the monthly average of 140, 160, 190 million. So it has blown up a lot since the, you know, three years ago. So you can't really say that's because now there's only sweats playing the game. Clearly there is a lot more people playing these days. But because of the return, you see here 2 million people. A lot of that is due to FNCS, which has been uh, announced for chapter, uh, yeah, chapter 4 Season 1. So that's great news for comp players and people who are, let's just say, a tier better than your regular average you know, pub game player like myself. Um, so a lot more people are playing the game and getting back into it after hiatuses and breaks like myself because the game is exciting again. There's a whole lot more um, content creation available. There's a brand new loot pool, right? We got like those awesome new guns. The Thunder Shotgun, I think, is an amazing addition to the game. It basically acts as a pump, but with range. And it's a super powerful, fun gun to use. So people are kind of learning the meta, getting re-immersed back into the game. So that makes the overall games, the average games you're going to play a lot sweatier because you're going against people who are relearning the game again that used to be really good and played a lot before they moved on to Call of Duty Warzone. And it's momentary. Uh, it's not like these, these players aren't going to be sweaty like this in pub games for very long before they're grinding out uh, arena i believe that we have comp starting on the 10th so in just a few days competitive players will start um you know trying to qualify to get into higher leagues contenders then champions and then the elite series um so they can make it to the fncs invitational so basically people are playing a lot more getting re-immersed reintroduced back into the game there's new loot pools you got millions of players returning, and this is causing the games to be a lot sweatier than average, but it does pass after a couple weeks. We'll notice that lobbies will get a lot easier. The auto actually isn't bad as well. The Maven auto shotgun, it has good range. It's... Almost got annihilated. It's got good range, and... It basically is a tactical shotgun. What the? Oh, I'm lagging. Hello. Not today, buddy. Not even close. 
Oh, the game knows exactly what I need. Hello there. Oh God. Yeah, I'm gonna chill right here for a sec. All right, we got. Oh, the splash. These perks in general, I really love. I think that I'm gonna die right here. I'm stuck. No. Okay. Hey yo. That was well timed. Yes. We're gonna find this guy. Oh, he's right here. Oh, I'm dead. What? No way we just did that to that guy. Oh my god. Yeah, I think the loot pools are pretty well balanced. I love seeing the scar again, even if it is weird seeing it as, you know, gray, green, and blue rarity with the scar. It's still great to see. Um, what else? I think that uh, the Thunder Pump, like I mentioned, by far the best gun in the game. And who doesn't love to have a pump in the game? And also, honestly, I'm just really enjoying the different POIs. Um, I love landing at Shattered Slabs. I think it's a great land. And I feel like there's a lot of loot in each of these locations. Overall, I'm just, uh, I'm having a lot of fun. I think Chapter 4 is a really fun season. Even if I felt like they have had some pretty sweaty uh, lobbies. I love the perk that gives you chugs for just opening anything. Gotta go for it. Yes. All right, here we go. It's here. Oh, I missed. Dead. I don't even know where he was. So let me know what your guys' opinion. Do you think this season's more sweaty with the brand new chapter four? I think it's a little bit, but I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace out for now.